a constant in the landscape of TV and radio since the dawn of SA's democracy. Fat Joe's like family to millions of radio listeners and to viewers of SABC3's Weekend Edition. You got to tell us about the beautiful people that you're with now. Oh, right, 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 right. The lovely lady that you frame and then okay. your young man. That's my son, Brooklyn. He's 14 years old now. Many of you already probably have met him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is uh, Palesa Morgan. Um, she's my good buddy. <laughs> she's my best friend. That's my best friend. What, what, do, you have, what do you have to say to that? Huh? Huh? I can only hope to be his best friend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, this is sort of, I mean, we've traveled before, but this is our first time kind of coming out to relax and just enjoy not only each other's company, but just be out in nature and so forth. Yeah, so this is something we definitely needed. Cape Mountain Zebra are slow to settle in new surrounds, unlike Joe and Palesa, who felt at home in each other's company from the start. How do you feel about Joe saying that you are just a friend? No, we're actually roommates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're roommates, but um, no, we've been together for a while now and he's one of the best people I know and he comes with two, as you know, Brooklyn comes with him. And I've just had so much fun, you know, being with them and we've just done so much this past year. Brooklyn, how do you feel that there's beautiful ladies in your dad's life. I hope she leaves. I don't want her here. <laughs> please, please leave my dad. I'm just kidding. She's a very nice lady. She cooks me meals every single day. And she nags me about my air conditioner and open window draft. <laughs> so thank you. Speaking of family, I'm sure that you realize that it's very important to spend time together. I've got, obviously he's growing up and he's going to leave the nest soon and stuff like that. But I try to make time, you know, every day to have dinner uh, with everyone and on the weekends and stuff like that. So, yeah. There's no need to rush at Gondwana Private Game Reserve. Quiet is a rare commodity when you talk for a living. So we let our guests lie in and enjoy the sound of the many bird species. The big five are as comfortable in this Cape Floral Kingdom as the guests. Truly spectacular, truly magical. Tell us about the lodge. Absolutely. Well, we've got 14 individual suites over here, uh, built on the old Koi sand style mud huts. But once you enter the suites, it's just full of luxury. And um, we also have a stunning infinity swimming pool over there, and also the bush boma at the bottom. Hiking and running are amongst Joe's greatest pleasures, especially when so much of his day is spent inside in studio. Palissa loves cardio, and these foothills of the Swartberg Mountains are the best kind of outdoor gym. Good call. Wow. Woo -wee. I'm sure you can agree that trail running is much more exciting than just doing the normal road work. Yeah, I definitely prefer this to road running. Joe makes us run all the time, and I'm not a fan at all. But I think we should definitely do more of this. It's so beautiful out here. Joe, how important is fitness with your busy schedule? It's 100% important, you know, uh, especially if you want to get more done. It kind of is counterintuitive, but you, the, the fitter you are, the more you get done, the more you rest. Your system just runs better. Um, very, very important. Yeah. Running has a beginning and an end. Your journey must have started somewhere. Where has it started from and where do you see it going? My journey started at 12 years old. I had a passion for a business. I had a passion for communications, media, music, DJing. It led me on the path to radio, TV, uh, production companies, digital companies, all the wonderful and amazing things that I've gotten to do and I'm still yet to do, you know? So yeah, it started early and I'm still, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Brooklyn is letting his hands do the talking. Boxing is his passion and he's also an avid guitarist who writes his own songs. If he does follow his talents into a career as a musician, he may find a big fan and a stylist in Palesa. Now that you two are part of each other's lives, what's the dynamic like? I'm one of eight, you know, I have six brothers. So for me, getting on with a boy comes as second nature. So it made us get along great. We're into the same things. Brooklyn loves fashion, music, so, you know, he always comes to me for styling tips because obviously women know best. <laughs> and um, we have a good time, you know. I love looking after him and his dad, yeah. 
Yeah, we do sometimes have our disputes, but it's lovely having her around. And my dad, he's, some people say he's a replica of me, which I personally think he is, because he always likes to argue with people, no matter if he's right or wrong. He always looks out for me. I like to look out for other people, and he's always there for me when I need him the most. Okay, Peter, it's time you and I go fishing and let the lovebirds be. Should we hit it? Yeah, let's go. He's learning to surf, but with rods laid on by the reserve, a little catch and release fishing was an opportunity to add to his skills, as long as he wasn't expecting cues from Chris. This is the first time that I'm going fishing. I hope I'm in good hands. Uh, yeah, I think you're in good hands. I mean, last time I went fishing, which was a while ago, I, I went fishing with a stick and some string. Oh my goodness, I thought you said you were pro. <laughs> I mean, I did end up catching the fish with my bare hands. That's got to count for something. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine, fine. We can learn together. Let's go. We're going to have some fun. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. The guys would return with little more than stories of the big one that got away. Brooklyn did have an excuse his dad had secretly given him a huge responsibility. Without Palissa catching on, Fat Joe, Brooklyn, and Weekend Edition producer, Paul van Dieventer, had put together a proposal video. You love me more than anyone has ever loved me before. Your love is undeniable, ever-present, so real, you could touch it, so bright that everybody can see it. Please, Palissa Morgan, will you marry my father? No, I just said it. <laughs> Give me that. So sweet, guys. So now, you got me crying now. You've been asking me to tell you why I love you. Yeah. For many months. <laughs> and what do I always say? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. Yeah. Anyways, enough with the talking. It's time for you to talk. <laughs> Alyssa, Morgan, will you oh, marry me? Babe, yes. <laughs> yes, Brooklyn, I will marry you too. <laughs> the where, when and how are still to be decided on, but the only detail that really matters is that Valissa said yes. I know that this is going to be the start of something very beautiful. Not as beautiful as me. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. That's why you're part of this. Yeah, That's right. why you're part of this. <laughs> so, a toast to the Majotas. <laughs>